All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to These Divinity, These Divine Tarot. Thank you for joining in with me today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Once again, thank you all for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and jump into this beautiful, about to say, <laughs> I was about to say monthly energy pick card reading. Ooh, that might be what I need to do next. But anyway, it won't be today though. <laughs> As you see from the title of the video, we're jumping into this beautiful divine feminine holistic health and healing energy, okay? This week, we're going to utilize the Botanical Inspirations as well as the Herb Crafters Tarot. I'm on a, uh, <laughs> I'm on a, I was going to say floral essence, but it's not even just flowers. It's the nature vibe, that earthy vibe, that herbal, like holistic healing. Perfect, right? So anyway, before we get into this, y'all, let you go without saying, please do check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. As it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid, meaning you could have already gone through this, you may currently be going through this, and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice the spirit has for you within the reading of readings, all right? Keep in mind, they are general. Not all may apply to you, and that's perfectly okay. Take what does, let the rest fly, because it may be a message for someone else. All right? If the shoe don't fit, please don't force it, y'all. Don't come to me talking about your feet, your toes, them currents hurt, because I did not do it. You did. Always be self-aware, self-accountable, and use your free will and discernment, and you will be all right. They will never lead you astray, I promise you. So, I also do not subscribe to gender roles as far as male, female, but I will say he, she, in reference to the masculine and or feminine energies. Just depends on what I feel and read intuitively. We all have them both within us, so it really doesn't matter. But, you know, I just want to give you the vibe, <laughs> I guess. Anywho, um, I'm also big on numerology. Whether or not I call them out, pay particular attention, especially if it resonates with you. If maybe like your lucky number, jersey number, your favorite number. It may be resonating with your life path number, the house that you may want to check in your natal chart and the energy they're in. Um, and it may be like one of your heavy hitters, the house that they may be transiting through, you know? And what I mean by heavy hitters, for me personally, I feel like summer rising Venus north and or south node. But, um, you know, everybody's different. Um, so, for instance, if you have Virgo as your sun, moon, rising, any of those that I just said, you might want to see what uh, house Virgo is transiting through this uh, month. And that will help you to see how you can better utilize the energy. Okay. Or maybe how this is operating in your life at this time. I don't know, honey. <laughs> I don't know your life. That's why it's up to you to do your own homework and all that jazz. All right. All right. Enough of that. Let's get into um, a quick word of prayer, shall we? <sighs> to the Most High, Heavenly and Divine, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, the ones who truly love, protect, and are here to nurture and heal us. I come to you first saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot thank you enough. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the light. Thank you even for the darkness. Thank you for allowing us to see. Thank you for allowing us to heal and helping us to heal. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for using me as a clear and open channel to bring forth the messages to the collective straight and clear, no chaser. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Allow the truth to set whoever needs it free. Free from bondage, free from slavery, free from the shackles of damnation and temptation. Thank you. All these blessings I ask and receive, and once again, say thank you. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. All right, without further ado, let's get on into it. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and see what Spirit has today to wrap up the week. What do you have for the time? 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at it. Cute little self. Just hop this little tail on over there. Grace and sweetness with this beautiful pink rose. Work with that heart chakra, y'all. That's powerful. It's beautiful. And those, those look like strawberries. <laughs> that may be your favorite fruit. You may want to utilize that as sweetness. How sweet it is. Yeah. It says, the pursuit of perfection then is the pursuit of sweetness and light. Matthew Arnold. <laughs> hey, Arnold. Anyway, I know it's not the same. I know it's not underneath the bottom of the... Ooh, you got the pink and the red. Okay, what y'all doing? This may be for your root, okay? As well as your heart, but... It says hidden secrets. Three things cannot be long hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. I love that Buddha. I love it, I love it, I love it. That is so true. It always comes back out every day. And then the truth. <laughs> Once none of the dark will come to light, no matter what. And that is what the truth is. Light. What is this? Oh, they want to come. They want to come so bad. I'm curious, but I'm, I want them to fall out. But what is this? Oh, five of water, the tower, the high priestess, and the Adelita of air. Oh, my. Let's see if any of those come out. I'm sorry, baby. Be careful how I bang on this table. He was just sitting up there so nice and peaceful, and I just had to mess up the flow, didn't I? All right, let's see. Make it plain, please. First out, we have the Ten of Air. Something is done and done. Prune them bushes. I don't know. Go harvest your roses so you can work with them for those my, for my gardeners out there. Um, that tough mental cycle is over and done with. Thank you. Then we have the Five of Fire and the Seven of Water. Come out of this illusion, this conflict, this confusion. I feel like you are. Can we get one more? Thank you. And then oh, we have. Ooh, okay. It's your choice. This is the lovers. I, oh, sorry. This is Hawthorne. I didn't say the um, the ten of air is alfalfa, the five of fire is black cohosh, and the seven of water is birch. And then, of course, this is the lovers, um, which is the number six, and it is Hawthorne as the herb. Okay, can you sit up here and be nice, play nice. Bottom of the deck, beautiful. We have the star. Okay, cottonwood. Number 17, potentially being an eight. This is Aquarian energy here. And I love this beautiful card because um, I just love it's this balance right here. Um, three and four may also be important numbers to you. I'm getting from this card. Uh, we already got, so essentially three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 10, or even one, right? Because a 10 is essentially a one. <sighs> Give me a minute, y'all. Some of you may have been intertwined, entangled is what I'm hearing, in something. Um, caught up in the rush, and in, even I heard in the bush. <laughs> I don't know, but I told y'all to prune back in bushes, right? Um, something is needed to be cut out, like I said, over and done with, so that you can move forward. And I feel like it's that, that confusion, that stress, the strife, the... Mm -hmm. For some of you, it's, it's mind and heart, you know, mental and emotional healing and balance that's that's needed with this uh, star energy. I keep hearing entanglements every time I look at the lovers. Um, some of y'all really may have been caught up in in a, a particular relationship with that being the focus of the week that you felt like may have felt like it just was so stressful and so this that and the other you thought you might have never found your way out of it 
but I'm here to tell you that's why you got this ten of air too. I'm here to tell you that that stress and worry is done, right? I feel like you do. You may when well, you do what you want, but you may. There's something about a. Oh, okay. Because whoever somebody was lying and trying to anyway. Because again, truth always comes to light. But uh, uh, somebody was trying to be, like I said, deceptive. You know, lying, trying to be. I just heard an illusionist um, trying to play games mentally, emotionally, whatever. And um, and. If this is you, you got cut out of the situation. Or if this isn't anybody else, they got cut out of said situation or will be or need to be if it hasn't happened already. Um, if this is you doing the cutting, I feel like you, you may want to bow out gracefully, okay? You ain't even really got to say anything to them because just your absence, your abs the absence of your presence will speak volumes. I pray that makes sense. And um, it ain't no explanation needed. You don't have to explain shit to anybody. I really am. I'm loving that vibe as of late. Like, because I'm not going to waste my breath. Like, people at this point, if you don't know who I am, how I am, it ain't even no, I'm not explaining myself to anybody. But what? You should be able to get it just by seeing, watching how I do. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. I don't know, but that's what somebody, because that's just what I feel. It's like, uh, instead of giving them the time of day or your energy of of the explanation, even at that, you know what I'm saying? Like, wasting your breath, they just, they probably don't even give a damn, <laughs> which is why you're in the situation you're in. Because if they cared, they wouldn't have tried to lie or keep secrets or hide anything from you to begin with. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. We're going to um, go with red rose and then pink rose. Yeah, okay. Pages 70 and 71, Hidden Secrets. Three things cannot be long hidden, the sun, the moon, and the truth. Buddha. Red roses have been treasured and imbued with deep meaning throughout history. The floors of Cleopatra's palace were carpeted with red rose petals. The red rose came to be associated with secrets when, in Greek mythology, a rose was given by Eros to, who was this? Harpocrates, <laughs> the god of silence. In ancient Roman times and throughout the ancient world, what? Pause. Let me start that sentence over because I don't know what the heck I just read. The floors of Cleopatra's palace were carpeted with red rose petals. The red rose came to be associated with secrets when in Greek mythology, a rose was given by Eros to Harpocrates, the god of silence. In ancient Roman times and throughout the Middle Ages, red roses hung above the tables were in ancient Roman times and throughout the Middle Ages, red roses hung above the tables were a signal that the word spoken, subrosa, which is beneath the roses, or subrosa, I should say, um, would be kept strictly secret. The rose is often used to signify secret religious and spiritual rituals. In the secret language of flowers, the number of roses was as significant as the color. A single red rose meant quote, you are the one, end quote. A bouquet of six red roses meant, quote, I want to be yours, end quote. All right, <laughs> I guess. Um, the inspirational message, keeping secrets not only keeps others in the dark, but keeps them at a distance. Always speak your truth, even when you think it may hurt. It's better to make someone cry with the truth than to make someone smile with a lie. Ooh, okay, I like that. Now, Pink Rose, pages 68 and 69, Grace and Sweetness. The pursuit of perfection, then, is the pursuit of sweetness and light. Matthew Arnold. There are 40,000-year-old fossil records indicating that first wild roses were pink ones. The first cultivated roses were also pink color. It is known that pink roses were grown in the Chinese Imperial Gardens 5,000 years ago. Some of the earliest known artworks depict pink roses. During the Victorian age, dainty pink roses were so popular that they inspired decorative wallpaper, stationery, jewelry, and many other fashionable items. When pink roses were given or displayed, they conveyed gentle sentiments such as grace, admiration, kindness, and sweet thoughts. The inspirational message reads, Greet life with grace, even when situations are challenging. 
Let pink roses be a gentle reminder that in order to have sweet dreams at night, you need to get in the habit of thinking sweet thoughts each day. Like I said, with that tin of air and that negative self-sabotaging, low body even um, type of thinking or ideology, whether or not somebody made you, because can't nobody make you do nothing, but whatever the excuse somebody gives as far as they made me do that, they made me say that, you know, they made me, because of them, I think this way, believe this, whatever, you give them too much power over you, honey, if that is the case. That's why I say self-sabotaging, because it all is, the, you control you. You control what you do, say, and think, okay? So anyway, that's what it's um, talking about. And as long as you, I feel like that part of you is done because that wasn't doing nothing but causing worry, strife, confusion. And like I said, I believe it was the day before yesterday, whenever this came out at the bottom of the deck, I, it was something about um, so much stress that it was really causing hypertension because it came out with the five of swords and amongst a lot of other air energy. I think even the seven of swords in that, that day, it was just a lot, that devilish energy. And I, that really made me want to cry. But, um, but, um, but yeah, but I do see that, I mean, if you so choose, because again, the lovers is all about your free will and choice, you making that decision to do so. It ain't gonna happen until you, <laughs> you do it. Um, and then of course, spirit will meet, meet you halfway with whatever you're trying to achieve, especially if it's for the higher good and you come with pure intentions, okay? which I do see that it's happening with the star being the overall underall energy. There is major healing here that the potential is also talking about the wishes and dreams being fulfilled, right? Um, that's interesting. There are no pentacle because I don't, I was going to say, I don't even feel like it has anything to do necessarily with work. I mean, it obviously still could be small, 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 like, <laughs> Many a school chance, I can't even talk, y'all, I'm done. There could still be an inkling of a chance, right? But mm -mm, I, I'm not feeling it at all. Uh, but um, as I already said throughout this whole week, every day this week, the, the focus is on relationships. First, you have to build that bond and that strong relationship with yourself. And then God will bring forth in the physical that manifestation that has already trans uh yeah transformed and manifested within you it's it's beautiful um it has the potential to be let's say so in this deception the lying the manipulating the because you ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself okay even if you feel somebody else doing it to you what have you done you know what i mean because they only reflect in you all right I'm out of here. <laughs> I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below. You never know how this may help someone grow, especially including yourself, though. And I pray this is what you're here for. If someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you have not already, I truly, truly, truly thank you so much for doing so. If you want to join me for another day, you can check the link in the description box below. I will see you there. If not, Please take care. Until the next one, y'all, be easy. And do not forget your love and life because it truly makes everything all right. All right, y'all. Peace.